Okay, let's get started. Welcome to Calm 100's live chat product tour. My name is Matthew Jinks. I'm the product marketing manager here at Calm 100, and I'll be your host and chauffeur as I take you on a guided tour of Calm 100 live chat. This product tour is broken up into different chapters, and each chapter focuses on a different aspect of our live chat product. Each segment should last around seven to eight minutes, and I wanna make it clear before we get going that this product tour is just an overview, and I'm not gonna be covering everything that I could. We've built a really powerful tool with a lot of depth, so this is by no means an exhaustive list of everything that's in our product. If you wanna go deeper, we offer personalized demos, and to schedule one, please email us at letschat at com100.com or chat with us on our website. This installment of uh, the Common 100 live chat product tour will be focused on what it's like to use Common 100 for a website visitor. We'll be taking a look at how flexible our live chat product can be when it comes to appearance and visitor side functionality. So let's dive in. Okay, so everything about the appearance and functionality of your live chat deployment is customizable on the visitor side. We developed our product so that it can be easily made to match your brand and deliver an experience which maps onto your specific use case. Now I'm going to show you a few examples of what I mean here. What you're looking at is a copy of the Common 100 homepage, at least a portion of it, and along the bottom you see three chat buttons and when I click on them I'm going to get three very different chatting experiences. Let's start with the chat buttons. In the bottom right is our standard adaptive chat button, which we think looks great. It's the one we deploy on our own website. In the middle we have this green button which says let's chat. It's actually a static image based button, which is great if you want to use a logo or something. And in the bottom left, I've created a button using a GIF. I'm not sure I would want something like this, but I wanted to show you how creative you can get with these chat buttons. You can also place the button wherever you want along your page. It doesn't even have to be a button at all. It could be a text link which reads something like, let's chat. The next thing I want to focus on here is our proactive chat invitations. Visitors who engage in live chat are about 40% more likely to convert. So the more chats you have, the more business you're likely to do at least on the sales side. On the support side, it can be worth it to let your customers know that chatting is an option, especially when they're on your site and they're looking for ways to get personalized customer service. In the bottom right, you can see one of our proactive chat invitations right now. And the important thing to note here is that you decide when and why these appear. And this is because Com100 tracks everyone on your website, what page they're on, if they're an existing customer, etc. And you can use that data to target specific visitors with contextual messages. For example, you could set up an invitation which reaches out to visitors who have items in their shopping cart that says, need help checking out, which could be great at mitigating shopping cart abandonment, or you could create specific invitations for articles in your knowledge base. If someone is on a page dedicated to billing issues, why not hit them with a timely, you know, talk to me about billing issues invitation. Next, I want to show you some chat windows. So similar to our chat buttons, we offer a lot of flexibility and customization in terms of window design. And I've got a few examples here to show you. I'm going to click on this middle one here first, which leads to a pop-out window. This might be a good option if you want to separate your chat experience from your web browsing experience. I'm just going to close this one up here. OK, stop chatting, yes. And the next one I wanted to show you was customized using CSS to make the window completely transparent, which is kind of neat, I thought. Uh, obviously, there's a tremendous amount that you can do with CSS, so the possibilities here are endless. I'm just going to end this one as well. Okay. And last but not least, we have our standard chat window, which is what you would get if you did absolutely no customization at all. Okay, so when we click on this window, we're actually required to fill out a pre-chat form before we start the conversation. Pre-chat forms are completely customizable. You can make them as long or as short as you'd like. And you can select from a number of different field types, including text, drop-down, radio buttons, etc. Now, pre-chat is actually a really powerful tool for a few reasons that I'll talk about. They allow you to route chats effectively. You can see in the bottom here, I have a field called inquiry type. And depending on what I select there, it might mean that a different agent or department is, is suited to pick up my chat. And you can set that up within COM100. It can also automate the tedious information collection that agents usually have to go through. Uh, as having a pre-chat form can save your agents from having to ask the same questions over and over again and allow them to get right to the heart of a visitor's specific need. 
The last thing it allows you to do is unlock your customer's entire profile. Uh, through integration, COM100 can automatically match the information given in a pre-chat form with fields within a CRM or customer database. This means your agents will have access to so much relevant information on who a person is, what service interactions they've had in the past, and what products they might, interested, be, might be interested in in the future. It can also save your customers for having to give the same pieces of information they've already provided in previous service interactions. Okay, let's start the chat. So chatting using COM100 should be familiar to anyone who's used any other modern chat or messaging interface. We try to keep things simple and intuitive. And our window is completely responsive, so no matter what device someone is chatting on, they're going to have a great chatting experience using COM100. I'm just going to respond to MJ here. Hello, I'm just testing. There we go. But there are a few things I wanted to highlight about our chat window. Uh, in the bottom right, we have this little paperclip icon, which allows you to share files with agents. This could be a receipt or a screenshot something which might help save an agent time in diagnosing your particular issue. Sometimes it's easier to show someone what's going on rather than tell someone what's going on. And you can also click these dots on the top here which unlock a few more features, one of which is the ability to email yourself a copy of the transcript of the conversation. Sometimes an agent might give you detailed instructions on how to do something and you want to save those for later so they are there for reference or maybe you're going to encounter the same issue again and, and you just have that transcript that you can refer to. And when I'm done chatting, I can just hit this X in the top right hand corner to end the chat. And what I have next here is a post chat survey. In this case, we have our standard five star rating system in a comments box. However, much like our pre chat survey, the contents of this are completely customizable. And this allows you to track the metrics that are most important to your business, including net promoter score. The comments section also serves as a great feedback tool and helps you identify specific ways in which your service quality can be improved. I'm just going to fill this out. Give five stars. Okay, so before we wrap up, I wanted to talk about your options for when your team is offline. Let's say you have agents online between 9 and 5, Monday to Friday. So what happens at 7 p.m. on a Saturday? You can always make your chat button disappear completely, but if you want to keep track of inbound service requests, you can always offer our offline message feature. Offline messages are emailed to your team and can be followed up on later when your team comes back online. And it's a great way to give your customers an outlet for their feedback, even when it can't be tended to in that moment. So I hope that's given you a taste of the kinds of things you can do in terms of customization and some of the functionality we offer on the visitor side of live chat. There are lots of other features I could have shown you, but we only have a short time here today. If you're interested in seeing a more complete demonstration of our platform, please reach out to us at letschat at com100.com or uh, chat with us on our website. Uh, that's all for now. Talk to you in the next installment of our Com100 Live Chat product tour.